So not only are we getting small arms fire from Taliban, then we're getting our own rounds cooking off and going in every which direction. Seeking cover, Brown and the others dragged the wounded to a low point in the riverbed. But soon, the enemy trained their mortars on that very spot. I heard the first couple of them come in, and then every action after that was almost a memory. Anything else as many as 15 mortars exploded near Brown as she bravely used her body to shield her vulnerable comrades. The other elements of Charlie Troop aggressively repelled the hostile forces and soon assisted Brown in dragging the wounded men to cover. All her preparation and training would come to bear as she now focused on her patients. After stabilizing the first man, she turned her attention to the second, cutting his charred clothes away with her knife. Burns everywhere. Wrapped him really quick and then got him in a hypothermia prevention kit. Charlie troops soon eliminated the enemy threat and the wounded were medevac to safety. Duty is one of the seven army values and I think that it came into play that day because I did what I was trained to do and I did what I was supposed to do. For extraordinary courage under fire with complete disregard for her own safety, Private First Class Monica Brown was awarded the Silver Star by the Vice President at a ceremony in Afghanistan. I look over and my brother is walking in with him and I haven't seen my brother in two years. And I start crying and I run up to him and I like squeeze him really tight and I'm just like, oh my God. The first thing Today, Sergeant Monica Brown teaches the critical skills needed to treat trauma on the battlefield. And she still finds solace outdoors, on the open road and in the ocean. As the Army prepares to send her to college to advance her career as an officer and a nurse, Sergeant Brown accepts her new role as a standard bearer for women in the Army. This is history. We're all making history. Females are driving trucks. They get attached to infantry units and line units like I did. I don't think that me being a 20-year-old female in the United States would have any of these opportunities or all of these opportunities if it weren't for the Army.